<laughs> Greetings, friends. It's Mike Benner here. Um, today's Ash Wednesday, February 17th. I am in Tenley Park, um, a tract of land that was given to Everett some years ago, and they've developed it. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, just a bit ago, a, fee, a doe, a deer, a small deer walked through the, um, the meadow down there. I, for a second there, I was almost singing uh, with Julie Andrews, uh, doe, a deer. And this bench happens to be snow free, so it's a wonderful place for me to sit for a few minutes on a cold, cold day. Um, Mark Iaconelli wrote a book um, that reminds us about suffering. You know, at this moment, as you're listening to this, someone in the world is, is taking their last breath because they haven't had a drink of water. Someone may be taking their last breath because they haven't had food in so long. Someone is dying of COVID-19. Someone is being abused by their spouse. Some child is, is being abused by an adult they trust. In this world, there's hunger, there's pain, there's sorrow, there's suffering from this pandemic. The, the pandemic hasn't been fair. It's affected some people and some populations much more than others. At this moment, suffering is a reality in many, many places for many, many people. Lent is a time when we take off our, our rose-colored glasses and we look at the way the world is, honestly, we acknowledge the brokenness. We, we acknowledge evil. We acknowledge the forces that destroyed Jesus, that, that hung him on the cross. And we offer ourselves in that journey, not, not, to, not to willfully defeat, but to submit to the love of God and to bring that love to a world that just can't quite get it. I recently um, read about the butterfly effect, you know, back in 1961, a guy, Edward Lorenz, was doing a weather model on computers at MIT, and he changed one number, just a tiny change. He, he rounded it from six digits, six decimal places, to three decimal places, and he re-ran the same model, and it was completely different two, two months later. The weather predicted was different because of that small change. As Lorenz reflected on that, he realized that it's almost as though a butterfly flapping its wings can cause a tornado two months because of that little, little change. Huge things can happen. As we're thinking about the bad, terrible, unjust, unjust things in the world, I hope we can be encouraged by that, that the smallest thing can make the biggest difference. A word of kindness, an act of kindness, uh, a gift, a card, an act of sacrifice for someone else. That's what our world needs. And Lent is the time to think about it. Lent is the time to wrestle and to recognize all that's wrong but also to be open to God's leading in, in, in changing, changing it, making the world a better place, making the world a more kind place, making the world a little more like Jesus envisions the kingdom of heaven. The reading, reading for today uh, from Matthew, it, it reminds us not to practice our piety in front of others, but, but to know that when we do things, small things, in secret, God notices, and there is a reward from God who sees those things done in secret. Ashes on the forehead. I'm not going to be, not going to be um, practicing the imposition of ashes today. But back even in the third century, Apostolic Confession, a guy named Hippolytus said, "You know, whenever you're challenged." When your faith is challenged, when you're tempted, whenever you face something that's difficult, when we make the for mark of the cross on our forehead, it's as though we're reminding ourselves the sign that Christ has put upon our souls and upon our hearts. 
that sign of the cross, remembering the sacrifice of Jesus, remembering the love of Jesus and the faithfulness of Jesus, that sign can encourage us, can strengthen our faith, and can bring out the best in us. I hope Ash Wednesday and the season of Lent is meaningful to you. And I hope it provides us all an opportunity to examine ourselves and to make the world a better place with God's help and God's blessing. I wish you God's peace. Amen.